Well, good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. America, the country, is as divided as it has been in 150 years since the Civil War. Right and left live in entirely different cultures in a lot of ways, rarely encounter one another personally. They live in different cities, attend different churches, read different books, have different hobbies. They even eat different foods increasingly. At the political level, state and local governments don't just denounce federal policy, they actively defy it. Eight states totally ignore the federal ban on marijuana, letting citizens grow and sell it with impunity. Countless cities tell their police to pretend that immigration laws don't exist or are invalid or so immoral that you can ignore them. Can we salvage a functional nation out of two groups who increasingly despise each other? It's a real question and not asked often enough. Joining us tonight is Mark Green. He's a former New York City public advocate. He recently founded a shadow cabinet, a group of policy experts to oppose every action of the Trump administration. He joins us now. Mark, thanks all for coming on. Oh, thank you, and congratulations. Well, you, thank you. You've led my career goal, which is talent plus luck. <laughs> I'm working on luck. both, but you <laughs> got you. it. So well, I've known you for a long time, and I don't agree with your politics, but I think you're smart and thoughtful. So I wanted to talk to you about this specifically. So there are always debates between the states and the federal government ought to who have, uh, ought to, about who ought to have authority. And, and that's the tension. And then there's a separation of powers, which is also a legitimate tension and longstanding. But what you're seeing now seems to me different, profoundly so. You have entire states, California among them, basically saying we don't recognize federal authority in important ways. So no matter what side you're on, that looks like the first couple of steps toward permanent division. Well, I completely agree with your opening comment that we have not been as politically and culturally divided since the Civil War. But the, you blame the framers, as you implied. They built in a dispersion, not a concentration of power, between state and federal, where you had to fight it out often on particular issues. And then, of course, uh, three branches of government. Um, but right now, we have one party controlling all three branches, in, in a sense. But when you say uh, both parties kind of been doing this, what's different is not that, you know, look, the country is divided on marijuana legalization. They were against it 20 years ago. Now they're slightly for it. So I can understand states vying. Tucker, we've changed roles. Of course, under Obama, federal overreach, we got to stop it. The 10th Amendment. And now we have states saying, no, 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 we have to stop President Trump from overreaching when it comes to a Muslim ban that he said wasn't, but every judge has said is, and every time he's in court, he appears to lose and then bluster and attack the judiciary. Right. No, I, I, I'm this watching. Sort of but, but, but hold on. Okay, I, 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 I get the rhetorical point you're making, but here's what's different about what we've seen in previous generations. These are issues. Are, they're not being fought out. They're not being argued over. They're not being debated in the Congress, which is where they ought to be. If you don't like the federal ban on possession of marijuana, change the law. You've got every state that's representatives and senators. You can change the law. Lead a crusade to do so. That's not what's happening. The states are saying, I just don't recognize your authority. I'm doing what I want. That hasn't happened since the Civil War. It's one of the things that precipitated the Civil War. And I would think, as a student of American history, you would see the consequences, potentially, in doing it again. Well, of course, this is, nothing is like slavery. You'll admit that. Uh, so let's take the modern examples. It's not that Democrats in California or elsewhere say, oh, we're going to go our own way. Sorry. The judges who un nearly unanimously ruled against Trump's Muslim travel ban one and two cited him as the source, being that you can legislate, you can have a, uh, tighten the borders to keep us safe. But a president can say it's based on religion and then make believe it's not. Okay, That's but, why he but, okay, lost. But, no, but you're arguing the legal case, which is a separate okay. argument, and I think I could probably crush you in that argument. But that's not what we're debating now. What we're debating Justice now... Justice Carlson, you're gonna, what, you lost in court, but maybe what, you could win in this court. What, what we're debating now, however, right. is the behavior of states and municipalities that are saying, not judges, but elected officials, politicians who are saying, I just don't acknowledge the validity of your law, the power of your law. That's what they're saying. A sanctuary city is saying to the federal government, of laws that were passed on a bipartisan basis in Washington and Congress, as they're supposed to be, I'm just not acknowledging that. Um, that hasn't happened. Uh, it happens all the time. Uh, constitutional no, law professor Larry Tribe of Harvard is yeah. among us in the 
at shadowing Trump. And several months ago, he wrote, look, sanctuary cities, the regulation that Trump has imposed saying, we're going to fine you and deny certain anti-crime monies unless you cooperate with us in evicting people who are allegedly uh, here illegally. And he said, they're going to lose that case. You can't coerce a locality to do something unlawful based on money with another program. Well, the judge agreed with him. Uh, Tucker, one more point. Okay, but and you're I don't want to get in the weeds. I don't want to get in the weeds. <laughs> but you are intentionally because you're ignoring my point, which is we're not talking about the ruling of judges. I'm talking about individual politicians saying that federal law doesn't apply to me because it's immoral. And that is something no, no, without no, recent precedent. Hold it. The refugee ban wasn't because it's immoral. No, no, no. Anybody can say that. The, it was because the, the president this, used a religious test. No, uh, but, let me back but up. But again, you're arguing a parallel and different case. I'm saying that mayors who say we're a sanctuary city in contravention of federal law are basically saying we're our own country. We're not, a, we're not subject to the laws passed in they Washington. They don't say that. You're, you're exaggerating for a fact. Uh, here's the, what's going on that's radical. Forgive me. Uh, Trump is, of course, legally the president, courtesy of the Electoral College favoring rural states to get the Constitutional Convention passed, and courtesy, perhaps, of Comey and Putin. He wins oh, with the minority on, of the no, 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 let me finish. That, he is legally the president, but he is such a blustering demagogue who utters these simplicities, and he says, oh, I'm right. Oh, really? Let's see what the courts say. Let's see what the... Po so he one-third less popular than any other president. Okay, he didn't win a majority of the vote. And so when locales say... And this is Say, you're putting on display the problem itself. You're, you're not actually engaging with the core question, which is, can California behave like its own country without consequence? That's a po polemical statement. Not, uh, it's they're not, not a behaving statement. like their That's own country. That's what they're country. doing, yes, they are. A judge or two judges said that those two bans were illegal. You want to ignore that as a legal issue. We have a radical extremist president okay. who is hated by a majority okay. of the public. And guess what? Democrats, to well, an unprecedented extent, okay, so let me turn just ask out you, in the streets okay. and in court and in Congress, let me ask and they're you a making a difference. Question, because I've heard everything you're saying so many times. I want to ask you something that I've never heard anybody answer, and I know that you will answer I've it I've heard a lot of what you said a lot of way. times, too. Well, here's my question. Let's so be we're original. Letting in, we're letting in more immigrants, and we have now more immigrants in our country than any country has ever voluntarily admitted in history. So I'm not saying that's bad, but I am saying it's a source potentially of division. How should we assimilate those people? Newcomers to America should be taught what in order to make them American? The language, the history, the culture. What are the core beliefs we need to inculcate in immigrants to keep this country united? Require that they watch MSNBC and Fox. Uh, look, uh, Tucker, you know that you the rate of crime among refugees into this country, That's not what including I'm Syrians, is less than that of domestic. The net okay. immigration from Mexico but you're missing the question. is zero. You always say that. I mean, no, what, what should immigrants the question, do? The question you're implying is, that we're being overrun. Trump doing the campaign said 600 anything. million. I'm He's, saying that countries in which people who live in the country have nothing in common tend to break apart. This is a real thing. We have more people in this country with less in common with one another than any time in American history. Has there what ever are we going to do about that? Tucker, has there ever been a president ever? as divisive as Donald Trump, who attacks the media's enemies of the people. Okay. And, uh, well, yes or no. And <laughs> Trump, so that's why... Trump has had a bad effect on some people. He and I would put you in is that a category. divider. Okay. You don't like Trump. We've, we've established that. But think about the assimilation question because it's a central one. Mark, thanks for joining us. I will at, at shadowing Trump. I'm going to think about it.